Hey guys, it's Ball Growth here, coming at you with another video. This is going to be a video on Rawlings uh, Heart of the Hide versus Rawlings Pro Preferred. Um, I'm just going to go into like, the specs of the glove, what I think of each. Cause, uh, to me, they're very close uh, in quality gloves, just the different leathers put it apart. So I'll start with the uh, Heart of the Hide. So the Heart of the Hide is made with US, uh, it doesn't say on this glove, but usually it says US Deer Hide. Uh, leather, which is uh, Rawlings, they say top 5% of the leather they get in the um, factory they use on the Heart of the Hides. So yeah, they use Tanner's laces, which are a really good quality lace if it focuses. Yeah, but it uses Tanner's laces, which is very good quality lace. Um, and the craftsmanship on these are very good with Pro Preferred and Heart of the Hide. Uh, the, they use deer tan, deer tan cowhide liner, which is extremely comfortable. It's very soft. It's not as soft as the pro preferred one, the petards, but it is extremely soft. Uh, heart of the hides are a little thinner leather because they are steer hide. So um, the palm will be thinner. It will wear out a little easy, uh, easier than the pro preferred just because the leather is thinner. Uh, now I'll just go through the pro preferred. The pro preferred is made out of uh, kip leather. Cape leather is um baby calf, so it's very thick, strong leather. These things will last you a little bit longer than those, but they st that's still good quality. On the liner on these is Petard's Performance Sheepskin Palm Lining. Uh, the most comfortable palm lining I've ever put my hand in, like two, three days into owning this glove. Um, uh, it molded to my fingers, like inside the glove, which is very nice. Um, again, with the Tanner's lace. I do think these are a little better than these Tanner's laces, but um, yeah, it could just be the color difference, which uh, changes it up. The Kip leather is extremely soft, but very thick. Uh, so the palm will be thicker, so you won't feel as, you won't feel the ball in the palm as much as you would on a uh, Heart of the Hide. Um, they do use a lot thicker inserts on these because they want them to last longer than the Heart of the Hide because you are paying $100 more for this. You're buying a quality glove that will last you a long time if you want to use it a long time. Um, but if you don't want to use it a long time, that's fine too. Um, but yeah, the inserts are like bricks. They're very hard to flare uh, out or just completely flare. Uh, so yeah, the palms on these, very different. Like that's the thickness of that palm. I mean, heel. And that's that. It's a lot thicker on this. So they do use a lot more padding. In my opinion, these are both great leathers. But if I had to pick one, it would probably be the Pro Preferred. And it's Kip leather. Because it's just how soft and supple it is. It's extremely comfortable leather. And this shit lasts a long time. So, I mean, for a glove of this quality, this price, I'm expecting leather like this. But I mean, if you do want to get a hard to hide, Steer hide is still really good. I just find that um, after like a year or two of use, the color starts to wear out a lot in here or it starts to rip in the fingers over here, which is annoying, but I mean, it does happen. But this is the first time I think if I game this, the first time I game Kip leather for like a, more than a year, because my other 44, the mesh, I gamed that for a year and it held up really well and it got actually softer the more I used it, which I really like. So I hope that plays like that, gets softer when I use it. Um, they both, on the iWeb, have um, double X laces. And I forgot to say the model numbers. This is the Pro 200-2, it's 11 and a half inches. This is a store custom from Superstar Sports. Highly recommend it, go check them out. Their gloves are really nice. And uh, this is a Pro S 204-2. RTB, uh, 11 and a half. Uh, they both have um, stamping. This is the silver stamping. This is the gold stamping. I haven't used it enough, either one enough, to judge how long they last. I did use this in a few games uh, last week. I mean, obviously it held up. It was just a few games. And I've used this in practice, and it seems to be holding up. So I'll let you know when they start to deteriorate. Uh, so yeah, uh, but thanks for watching. Honestly, if I had to pick between, it'd probably be Rawlings. If you can afford the Rawlings Pro Preferred, it would be the Pro Preferred. Just because the leather's softer. They're very similar gloves, model-wise, because they're both Pro, Pro 200s. They're both Rawlings gloves. They're going to be very similar play styles, just very different 
I mean, like a small difference of leather quality and just small things that make the glove better. So that's just my opinion, but either, either glove is really nice. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye.